Well, this is a, a BMW M5, and uh, we've adorned it like the Ring taxi that you would find at the Ring, uh, the Nurburgring in Germany. Uh, this particular car, though, is one that we pulled from our school fleet at the BMW Performance Driving School in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And uh, we use it for promotion, but uh, it is used in our driving programs as well. All our cars are stocked just as you would buy them from the showroom. The uh, M5 is a V10 with uh, 507 horsepower. It has a seven-speed sequential manual gearbox. In other words, you're operating it either with shift paddles or with a gear lever. And uh, of course, it has brakes. If you're gonna go that fast, it has fantastic brakes for Audubon speeds or for the uh, Nurburgring. And again, this car actually has a clutch internally, but no clutch pedal or actually came from the design of Formula One racing. So with this one, you can again upshift by using the paddle on the right and pull it back. And the beauty of it is, if you want to go faster, you don't have to wait. You don't have to lift off the throttle. It's a no lift shift. Keep your foot planted, keep pulling gears, seven forward gears. And if you want to downshift, it does blipping, like heel and toe automatically. It'll blip the throttle for you and downshift by operating this pedal here on the left or if you like, some people still like to use a stick shift, you can do that. To upshift, normally you're accelerating, it's pushing you back a bit, so you pull back to upshift. And of course, if you're on the brakes, it's pushing you forward a bit, you push forward to downshift. Also, the car has the ability to go from 400 horsepower, if you push this button, then you have over 500 horsepower at your disposal. Beyond that, we have the switch here, the dynamic stability control. And if you're in a, say, at a closed track, proper place to do it, you can turn the stability control off and so you can play with the throttle a little bit and manage the grip of the tires. For street driving, I always recommend keeping that on. It's a good thing. Uh, we also have the EDC. Now that stands for electronic dampening control. That's your shock, uh, shock absorber adjustment. You can drive with the car in a comfort mode and again it still is a sportive mode because it's an M car but it's adjusting so it'll adjust for you. The next mode if you put one light on is a normal mode and it still is an active suspension so it will adjust for you but it's a little firmer than the comfort mode. And then beyond that if you put two lights on that's full firm and it is a rigid setting so if you are say on a flat surface and wanting to get a quick time on a slalom you could select that mode. But typically the active modes and by the way the normal mode with one light that is the mode that the fastest laps at the Nurburgring are set.